Hello, my friends, and welcome to Five for the Future for this week, the week of July 29th. Let's jump into the five topics that stood out to me recently as signals of change that could impact your small business. Ready to get started? Here are our five topics for this week. Cybersecurity and you. Green is good. Weird food trends. AI and jobs. Deja vu. And small business and government. AI and jobs. Deja vu. Maybe you've heard the story before from me. <clears throat> Will AI take our jobs? Will it create new jobs? There's so much conflicting information out there as this industry continues to take form. So what's the latest buzz on AI and jobs? Here's some of what I'm hearing. AI tools are doing better than doctors at detecting prostate cancer and at predicting cancer based on your medical records. But nurses argue that AI could cause harm if it takes over their role in decision-making and caregiving for patients. And as some say, AI offers average intelligence. And a recent study found that using AI for content or creative writing led to more sameness, less variation, and less originality. Like we're all converging in the middle of a bell curve. Meanwhile, AI is getting better at emotional intelligence, sensing your voice tones and facial expressions to determine emotions and respond accordingly. Is that helpful for interactions with AI bots or dangerous? Related to that, in China, AI is helping to resurrect your deceased loved ones with AI avatars based on photos, videos, and other past interactions. Here in the US, we still have some ethical concerns for this use of AI. Good to know there are limits. <coughs> So what does this all mean for you and your small business? The small businesses I work with aren't being transformed by AI tools just yet, but it certainly pays sen makes sense to pay attention to what's going on. AI can be a terrific tool for content creation, at least that first draft, and perhaps even for customer service chatbots that can solve simple customer problems and save employees time. Keep an eye on the options out there as there are new AI apps coming out every day. Who knows which one will make a real difference in your day-to-day -day operations? And what might the future look like? We are getting a glimpse of the AI future as we move toward companies with so-called digital employees, those bots powered by AI that might be your customer service support, your sales outreach, your financial analysts, or more. And open AI leaders have now defined the five stages of AI innovation that could lead to AI running a company. Starting with stage one, I think that's where we are maybe, chatbots. Then stage two, reasoners and problem solvers. Stage three, agents that take action. Stage four, innovators and inventors. And finally, stage five, organizations. And at this stage, all AI can do the work of an organization. Is this a roadmap to AI progress? Or as one person suggested, a plan to make human workers obsolete? <laughs> Stay tuned on that one. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching. I hope these five topics and my take on them get you thinking about how these signals of change could ultimately impact your small business. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again in two weeks.